there is a clause in which we agree that we will contribute uh, resources, uh, including finance, to some degree. We have a certain amount of uh, budget for this kind of purpose, and we will seek in the process of the UN uh, and in the effort to have a global commitment to this, help from many other uh, of our international partners. But we're convinced the urgency of this will be a test for the international community's commitment to the Chemical Weapons Convention and to the importance of restraining uh, chemical weapons and weapons of mass destruction. So I think the global community will participate and this can be achievable. As to where it is destructed, the experts really need to make determinations about individual weapons. Some can be destroyed uh, on the site, many cannot, and, and that's something that will have to be part of the CWC uh, process that will be contained in the extraordinary procedures that we've called for. Yes, as for cost, who's going to shoulder this cost? Well, some countries are willing to finance sort of military operations. So I'm sure for the same countries or other countries will be willing to pay for a Pacific solution. On va envoyer Sergei. Secretary. Yes. David Lerman from Bloomberg. Uh, sir, just five days ago in London, when you first floated this idea publicly, you seemed to dismiss it at the time by saying Assad would never do it, and quote, it can't be done, obviously. My question, sir, is how did the impossible suddenly become possible? And why is it credible to think that you can send these inspectors in on the ground in the middle of a civil war? Sure. And as a practical matter, if you really want to get thorough, verifiable <clears throat> inspections in all corners of the country, don't you have to stop the fighting first? Uh, let me answer both questions. Uh, I purposely made the statements that I made in London, uh, and I did indeed say uh, it wasn't possible and he won't do it, uh, even as I hoped it would be possible and wanted him to do it. And the language of uh, diplomacy sometimes requires that you put things to the test, and we did. Uh, Sergey and I had been talking even three days before that about this very concept. We had two phone calls on the Thursday and Friday before it. And I got a phone call very quickly from Sergey uh, saying, uh, let's see if we can take this and move. And he talked to his president, and they talked, uh, the presidents talked in the uh, in uh, St. Petersburg, and the rest is history. We're here. Uh, 